Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this short video, I just want to walk you through how to go about accepting an assignment uh, via GitHub. So you should have received an email or a message that has an assignment link in it. So this is again my, my inbox here just as a sample. And today I'll just walk through going uh, through the practice assignment exercise that you can work through for exactly the reasons it's posted for practice. Um, so you should get something like that. I've got a link here to the assignment. And so I'm just going to click to follow that link. And then it's going to bring up a page. The first time you try to access one of these, these assignments via GitHub classroom. So what's happening here is GitHub classroom needs access to your account so that it can work with it in order to automatically pull in and create a new repository for the assignment and assign the appropriate uh, collaborators, which would be me and permissions, et cetera, et cetera. So you don't have to worry too much about this. Just go right ahead and authorize GitHub. Make sure you see authorize GitHub classroom, allow that to happen. And they get redirected. It's going to say, Hey, we need some additional permissions to do some of the things that I had mentioned already. It does give you a breakdown of what those are. Again, I'm going to authorize GitHub. So that should bring you to this particular page. If you don't see uh, a screen appearing that says join the classroom, this is your first time following the link. Um, just copy or follow the link again from your email. And uh, then you should be able to get access to it. If it comes up with a 404 message or something like that, just reclick on that link after you've gone through the granting GitHub the permissions. And then hopefully it should bring you to the screen where it asks you to join the classroom. Um, and then, you know, it gives you some information here about it. And then take a moment here to scroll through and find your name. And what's going to happen here is if you go through and find your name, you can associate your GitHub account with your account in Moodle, back uh, on DMIT's Moodle page. Um, and that's going to allow me to know who's submitting what by their name, rather than having to know what specific account you've created on GitHub. So go through, find your name, associate your account with yourself. The account that I'm using doesn't have a name. So I'm just going to skip over to the next step. And then it's going to ask me to accept the first assignment, first GitHub project. Okay. And then it says here, once you accept it, you'll be granted access to this repository in the CPSC 1012 organization on GitHub. So the, the CPSC 1012 organization is just a top level organization that's used to manage all of the repositories um, that are being used as templates for the particular classroom that we have. Um, you can visit that if you like, but there's no reason to go there. All of the content for the course is on Moodle. Um, so anyway, this, you don't have to worry too much about this. Just say, yeah, I would like to accept the assignment. And it's going to go about creating that repository. So there's a template that it's, it's pulling from, and it's going to basically recreate a new repository for you on your account. And so once everything's done, it says you're ready to go. <clears throat> you accepted the assignment first GitHub project and your assignment repository has been created. And then it gives us a URL for, for what that looks like. Um, and then it says here, note, you may receive an email invitation to join, uh, attend on your behalf. You don't have to do anything. Um, if you see that. And so if you, if you click on this link, you're going to be brought to an assignment page, a repository for that first assignment. And if you look closely, um, at the link here for the repository, you'll see that it's private, but you'll also see that the repository is created under this CPSC 1012 organization. Um, every, every student will get a repository that's created like this for each of their assignments. And that's part of how GitHub allows me as a teacher to collaborate with you on the repository. So if you look at the name for your, your repository or your project, you'll notice it's first GitHub project. And then there's got a hyphen with your name on the end here. And, and so everyone will get a private project that's named this way, but they're all going to exist under this CPSC 1012 organization. Okay. So this is a project that is for you. You'll see that, you know, Nathan Humphrey is the one that set this up for feedback, but that's only because the original template was created by me. This now is unique for um, for you to go ahead and work on and for me to view your work and to provide comments uh, on them. 
If you go back and visit your, your email, you should see that you got an email uh, from GitHub that's you know, from your instructor. In this case, it's from myself. Nathan Humphreys invited you to collaborate on this repository. Okay, and so that's why we decided to use GitHub Classroom for these assignments because it gives, again, a nice easy way for you to update your work and for me to get notifications of those updates and also to provide um, comments on those updates um, should they be necessary. So it says here you can accept or decline the invitation, or you can also visit, you know, my site to see more about me if you want to, but that's fine. The invitation will expire in seven days. So if we click on this option here to accept or decline, again, it brings us back to the, the same location where we can begin to work. So I, I just wanted to point out that you'll get that email. Um, you know, don't be put off by that, but that's fine. Once you're here, uh, everything should be okay and good to go. And so that's all there is to accepting your first assignment from CPSC 1012 for GitHub. And a uh, follow-up video, I'll walk through how to make updates and make changes to your projects.